I don't want to talk about this because it's Marjorie Taylor Greene and you all know how I feel about Marjorie. But apparently she has some quite interesting takes on sports and fascism, of all things. So I guess we will be doing that today. But before we do that, we do need to get into the fan art section. So we have... A pumpkin, Cirrus, uh, from Lady Hal. They said, a pumpkin for Halloween. And it is pumpkin, Cirrus, going, the correct word is owo. Which is not untrue. The correct word is owo. And everybody who says the one that begins with you is actually a fascist. 110%. With all that said, though, if you want your fan art to be featured in a future video, and again, thank you very much, Lady Hal, for the fan art, then please drop into the fan art section of the Discord. And with that said, let's go ahead and roll the intro. And now that we're here, so that we can have suffering with you and me, let's go ahead and take a look. This was posted four days ago. Oh, boy. Naki Bree, thank you very much for redeeming your points for an... Oh, well. Oh, well. Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, calls the NBA fascist for allowing Magic Johnson to play with HIV. While Kyrie Irving stays bench. So, I do not know a whole lot about basketball or the different players in it. Uh, but I did watch South Park, so I do know who Magic Johnson is. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the article on hand here and see if she's being reasonable or see if she's being Marjorie Taylor Greene. Georgia rep Marjorie Taylor Greene has spoken up in defense of benched Brooklyn Nets player Kyrie Irving, who has steadfastly refused to get the COVID-19 shot. She says, The fascist NBA won't let Kyrie Irving play for refusing a vaccine, but they'll let Magic Johnson play with HIV, wrote Greene in a tweet on October 14th. Ooh, let's take a look at that tweet. I'm curious what the responses to that are. Let's see. Skylar Baker Jordan points out, uh, hell no, uh, you don't get to do this. HIV is not airborne, and it's harder to contract than coronavirus. This is an insult to both the more than 700,000 Americans who've died from HIV in the last 40 years, and the more than 700,000 Americans who have died of COVID in the last 18 months. Uh, oh, apparently the NBA is not keeping Irving from playing. The city of New York mandated vaccines for people working indoors. Irving is not vaccinated, so he can't play home games. The net decided not to play him, uh, half the time. Shocked Marjorie didn't understand this. She always seems very well informed. Oh, dearie me my, look at you. I have a feeling that you could, you could literally create an entire breakfast based on the amount of egg on her face. So, continuing on, Green was referring to how the NBA star announced his HIV, uh, HIV diagnosis in 1991 and then abruptly retired from the sport. Johnson has been credited with a powerful uh, as a powerful advocate for HIV and AIDS preve uh, prevention and safe sex since his retirement from Los Angeles Lakers in 1991. Meanwhile, the Brooklyn Nets announced this week that they would not allow point guard Kyrie Irving to play or practice with his team because he has not received the COVID-19 vaccine at all, per New York's vaccine mandate. He would not be able to play indoor games either. Uh, Irving's refusal to get the vaccine has thrown his $186 million contract extension and his future in the, uh, on the team into question. Irving recently spoke up about his decision not to get the COVID-19 jab, saying he's doing what feels good for me. Let's take a look and see. What is here? So the main points here, because I don't want to go through all of it. Uh, he said he's not getting the vaccine. He appeared on in an Instagram live the day after his team said he won't play until his vaccination status changes. Uh, points out that vaccines have been proven time after time to be safe and effective in preventing serious illness from COVID-19. Yeah. Not untrue. Let's go ahead and go back to the article itself here. Points out that there are marked differences between the two diseases that Green highlighted in the October tw uh, tweet. HIV is spread through bodily fluids and sexual contact. Uh, so yeah, unless uh, all basketball games are giant sex orgies filled with blood and piss, then yeah, no, he's not throwing his HIV everywhere. 
Uh, meanwhile, COVID-19 is an airborne respiratory disease. Yeah, it attaches itself to airborne water particulates. The health of the public is more important than your narcissistic needs. True, true. Green is known for making inflammatory statements about the COVID virus. Not untrue. This May, she compared House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's congressional mask mandate to the Holocaust. Really? Please don't tell me that there's a whole fucking article on this. Marjorie Green calls Nancy Pelosi mentally ill and compares House uh, mask rule to the Holocaust. Okay. Right. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to get angry. I'm just disappointed. I am expectant and disappointed. My brain is is expecting nothing. It has been impregnated with the idea, the the, the bias that Marjorie is the type of person that she is. And I just can't. She then doubled down on these comments, likening proof of vaccination to Jews being forced to wear a yellow star during the Holocaust. God, don't even talk about Jewish people, Marjorie. You thought Jewish space lasers caused the California wildfires. Green also is suspended from, uh, was also suspended on Twitter in July after she claimed that COVID is not dangerous for people under 65 and for people who aren't obese and the vaccine should not be required. Representatives from the NBA, Johnson, and Irving did not immediately respond to Insider's request for comment. So, I know this is going to make for a very short episode, but I... For those who don't know, I live in Georgia. This woman represents me. I have a lot of problems with the things that Marjorie says. I, I think I already have gone over the things with the uh, specific things she mentioned here. I obviously do not agree that HIV is comparable to COVID-19. Uh, the way that they transfer is completely different. Um, their ability to be transferred to a group of people is, is completely different as well. If you have HIV and you're standing in an elevator with a bunch of people, you are not going to magically transfer HIV to all of the people in that elevator with you. But if you have COVID, that is a thing that might end up happening. So, yeah, no, I am just... Mm. This woman frustrates me. But there's two ways to look at this, and there's always two ways to look at this. The The one way is to look at it in good faith. In good faith, this is her just not understanding how these things function, and therefore pointing out these things are very different from one another is effective. Or there is the alternative way to look at this, which is that Marjorie's actually a grifter. She might believe a good bit of the things she says, but she is more into the audience that she gets and the potential financial incentives to catering to that audience as she does so that leads her to down this path that she's on. But here's the thing. She's been doing this for ages. I don't know which one of those that I could actually stand behind. So whenever you don't know if you're if the person you're dealing with is dealing in good faith or bad faith, it's always best to assume good faith. And sometimes that makes them look like even more of a fool. So, yeah. Uh, and no, she can't really be fired. She could be uh, she could be impeached, but I mean that's not going to do a whole lot of good. Uh, what we can do though is uh, next year we can vote her out of office, which is what I'm going to be doing. So yeah. But, with that said, let me know what you think. I know it's a short episode, but it's literally just Marjorie Green said something stupid. Let's talk about why that thing's wrong. And then go on to the next episode. As always, everyone, if you want to support the channel and what I do, let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Follow on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube and all that other fun stuff. As always, everyone, insert into video tagline here. 
Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you want access to behind the scenes content for the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. I do weekly vlogs over there where I give uh, real life updates to what's going on behind the scenes on the channel, stuff that you don't really get uh, over here and, and even on Twitch. Uh, Patreon also helps the channel's stability a whole lot. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Especially with the kind of content that I do, neither YouTube nor Twitch are the most stable sources of income. If you are a $20 and up patron, then you will be featured on the ending slides as shown in the beginning of the end credits. If you want to catch the streams where all this content comes from, then consider heading over to Twitch and following. And if you want to continue watching over here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking one of the end screen videos. And once again, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me over on my channel. I wouldn't be able to do literally anything that I'm doing over here on YouTube without each and every one of you. So thank you.